In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix the login issue that sometimes appears when using Slack on Linux. Hi everyone, my name is Robert Meisen and I make videos on beep beep stuff. In today's video, we're going to be discussing Slack and how to resolve the sometimes issues that come up when logging in uh, via the browsers on the desktop version of Linux. If you work in any kind of professional capacity, you're probably using Slack. Uh, and if you're not, you probably should be. It's a really good tool for development and for communications on a professional level. Now, an important note to remember is that Slack is available right now as an open beta by the developers of Slack, which is awesome. Uh, but in the past, you may or still be using the Flatpak version, the Snap version, or the AUR version. Uh, this issue that does come up, uh, the two issues that we're going to go through, does appear on all three of these versions. So uh, just keep that in mind. Now, issue number one is sometimes the login prompt doesn't quite work correctly. So you try to log in to the, via the desktop, it will go to the browser, come back, and then every time you log back into Slack, you have to keep going through this process. Issue number two, which is the issue that I get very often, is trying to log into multiple workspaces. Now, Slack has an issue where if you try to log in via the browser, via certain browsers, that the desktop version on Linux doesn't always show all of the workspaces. So I have a workspace for my professional work job, and I also have a workspace for my private professional kind of hobbies, and I keep those two things separate. Now, under certain browsers, the login prompt doesn't return the tokens correctly, and what you end up with is only being able to log in in one workspace at one time. Uh, and in this video, hopefully, you'll be able to resolve these issues and be able to use Slack on a Linux environment. Um, and hopefully this video will be helpful for you. We're going to get to my computer now and I'm going to show you how to resolve the issues that you sometimes get on Slack. Okay, so now we're at the computer. I'm going to take you through this process and just to show you this process in a really uh, unfiltered way, I've removed Slack from my computer so that you're going to get the same experience as me. So we're going to open up the add remove uh, software tab and we're going to search for uh, Slack. And as you can see here, there are a few options. I'm going to use the Flatpak version. Um, performance wise, these are some of the best ones to use. If you're not sure about that, I'm gonna link uh, Tech Hub's uh, video. I think that you'll find that video really enjoyable, very interesting. So I'm going to click apply on that one. And then I'm gonna pop my password in. If you do have any of the two issues that I mentioned so far, and it does actually help you resolve these issues, please do like the video. And if you do like the content from me, do remember to subscribe to the channel, that always helps. And if there are other technical issues that maybe you're experiencing that you think that I might be able to help with, then definitely drop a comment down below and I will see if I can get around to helping you with those problems. Okay, now that Slack is installed, I'm going to press on Alt space and we're gonna type in Slack. I'm going to launch it. Just going to bring it over to another window so you can see it. So as you can see here, we have the Slack window open. Now I'm going to click sign into Slack and it's going to open up my uh, page here with my multiple workspaces. Now I have logged into the browser before, so it is going to log into uh, my workspace on the browser. Now, the problem that usually comes up with, as you can see here, I have two sets of workspaces, one for my private and one for my work. Now, if I were to click on one of my private ones that I want to open and one of the work ones and then click open, what's going to happen is it's going to take you to Slack here. And what will happen is it's only going to show me one of the workspaces. Now, if you have two workspaces, what will happen is that you'll get a little sidebar down the left hand side and it will show you both workspaces. And this is the problem. So to get around this, what we're going to do is I'm going to log out of this um, uh, workspace and I'm going to close these down close down this browser I'm going to click sign into slack again to open up a browser now what you're going to get is a fresh token and you see this address bar at the top now I am using brave now this problem does seem to exist on all chromium based type of browsers at the very least so if you copy the uh, browser um, address and then open up another browser such as Firefox so I'm going to open up Firefox and I'm gonna paste the exact same token inside. Now, you're gonna get the same thing that's gonna pop up. I'm gonna click on the private one I want, I'm gonna click on the work one I want, and then I'm gonna click on open. Now, when you do that, it's gonna open, uh, open up Slack, and there you go. I have my work one and my private one both loaded up. 
This seems to be the way that tokens are handled on Chromium based browsers and via Slack. I'm not sure that this is uh, consistent across all operating systems. I only use Linux at home. I use Mac OS at work. Doesn't seem to be too much of an issue there, but I am using Safari. So that doesn't seem to be an issue on that browser. But if you have Linux, if you have Slack and you are getting some kind of weird login errors with Slack, then definitely just try this method copy and paste the token for the login from your default browser if it's not Firefox, paste it into something like Firefox, and then you should be able to get sent back directly to this. Now this problem exists on the AUR version of Slack, as well as the Flatpak version. I haven't tried the Snap version, um, and I haven't tried the kind of open beta version of Slack quite yet, because uh, it's relatively new. So I am looking forward to seeing how that goes. Anyway, I hope that this was helpful for you. Um, hopefully this did solve your problem in using Slack on Linux. Um, and again, if you liked the video, remember to like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.